Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is January 26, 2022. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fertilize Aminias. Stay tuned. I'm going to choose this camellia plant in a container as a demonstration to show you how to feed camellia plants when they are blooming during the blooming season. As we know, camellia blooming season is pretty long. It really depends on different camellia varieties or species. Usually it varies from October to April. It's kind of from late fall to middle spring. So during such a long blooming season, if the plant has a lot of flower buds, just like this one, it really needs a lot of energy to keep all these flower buds and flowers blooming. For this camellia plant, after I put up in this container in October last year, I never applied any fertilizers in this container. So this camellia plant really needs a lot of fertilizers to keep them blooming. So this plant needs a long-lasting slow release fertilizer. I'd like to choose this fertilizer. As you can see, check out right here. So basically my container is 8 inches diameter. I need one tip spoon fertilizer. It is brand new. So let me open it and get some. You see here, it's this kind of fertilizers. Before I apply this fertilizer, I'd like to use a fork to remove some soil from the edge of this container to the middle. Just like this. Then I'm going to apply fertilizers. Just even spread some fertilizer along this edge. Then just spread with the soil. Then backfill this soil. Except slow release fertilizer, camellia plants still need fast acting fertilizers. Here I have some fertilizers to show you. So the first one I'd like to choose all purpose plant food. It is water soluble fertilizers. So also I can use this one. This is for acid loving plants, especially for camellia plants. As we know, camellia plants prefer to grow slight acidic soil. If your soil is alkaline, you'd better reduce the soil pH. Basically, you can use this one, soil acidify, to reduce the soil pH to increase soil acidity. Of course, you can also use a ferrous sulfate to reduce the soil pH. Meanwhile, you can correct iron deficiency. Here you can see I already prepared some all-purpose plant food solution. So I just pour some to this container. So I'm going to water these plants. Another chemicals I'd like to use is Epsom salt, which contains magnesium sulfate, which is very helpful to the plants. Basically, it can encourage photosynthesis. I already prepared some Epsom salt magnesium sulfate solution right here. It is one tablespoon in one gallon of water. So I already added quarter some in this spray bottle. So I just spray on the foliage. Two other fertilizers I'd like to mention is bone meal and monopotassium phosphorus. So let me show you the bone meal first. Basically, bone meal contains 4% nitrogen, 12% phosphorus, 0% potassium, which is very good for bulbs and other flowering plants, especially for root systems. And the monopotassium phosphorus, usually I use this chemical which contains 
52% phosphorus, 34% potassium. I make a solution, 0.2 to 0.3%. So basically, you just spray on the foliage. So here I have some add quarter in this spray bottle. I'm going to spray on the leaves. At the last, there's one thing I want to point out. Camellias prefer to grow in a humus rich environment. They cannot tolerate full sun all day, especially during the hot summer. That's why you'd better grow camellias in a spot where they can receive morning sun and afternoon shade. Some specific camellia species or varieties can tolerate full shade. For the foliage, you can just simply spray water on the leaves to keep them moist. Camellias have a relatively shallow root system. During hot summer, the top soil is very easy to dry out. The temperature inside the container soil will increase. There is one easy way to protect Camellia root system from getting sunburned. It's just to put some mulch on the top of the soil. Here I have some chopped wood chips I got for free. So just to put all these wood chips on the top of the soil, just like this. There are several benefits when you apply mulch on the top of soil. The first, you can keep the root system cool. The second, you can return soil moisture. The third, you can reduce watering amount and times. So if you like today's video, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like, share, leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.